Good morning, my name is Jacob Folger, I'm an artist sculptor and today we're going to make a green man and a green man is any kind of carving, drawing, painting or representation of any kind which shows a head or face surrounded by or made from leaves and uh, it's a symbol of rebirth and so the first thing that we're going to do is make a uh, the head or face of the uh, green man kind of break it down and do one one step at a time i'm starting off with a ball of polymer clay this is sculpey 3 which i like to use you can use any kind of clay any kind of polymer clay and uh, I'm working in black because I like the way the finishes I do look on I look some black. Uh, I start with rolling a ball and then an oval shape and uh, I'm going to take my thumbs and press in creating the uh, beginning of the eyes and I'm going to squeeze here a little bit bringing out the uh, the nose and uh, notice I have the forehead uh, jutting out and it's jutting out because I pressed in to get the uh, shape of the beginning of the eyes now I'm going to press here to kind of stop the nose right there I'm going to take a little bit of clay a noodle of clay about that big there and put it basically on top of the nose to kind of bring the bridge of the nose out And just blend it in after I do that all the way around just shaping the nose at this point because smoothing out around the eyes and uh, where the forehead comes down now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ball of clay a little ball of clay like about this big I'm going to roll it on one end so it becomes like a teardrop and with the point of the teardrop pointing down I'm going to put it right there on the side of the nose and that's going to be where the uh, nostrils of the nose will go, the nose holes. I'll make another one for the other side. Like that. Once you do this a few times, you'll see it become a lot easier for you. If you've never done this sort of thing before, it might be a little bit difficult, but you know, you'll get used to it with a little bit of practice. I'm going to take a sculpting tool because my fingers are kind of uh, broad and it's kind of hard to get in here uh, with my fingers so I'm going to use a tool to blend uh, this part of the nose in to the rest of the nose. And don't worry if it's a little bit rough because we're actually going to want it nice and textured for this for this uh, project. And I'm going to take a little ball of clay now and I'm going to put it on the very tip of the nose and I'm going to blend that in.
all the way around. If I have to use a tool, I'll do that. We're kind of going for, for this piece, I'm going for kind of an aged, definitely an aged old, old man kind of look. Something you might think of when you see this piece is uh, maybe a uh, wizard or something like that. The look of a wizard. I'm going to just kind of pull in by squeezing the face a little bit. To kind of elongate it a little bit. Make it longer. <clears throat> And you know, coming in a little bit like that. I'm also going to take the uh, this end of the sculpting tool and uh, put in the nose holes. Although they may end up being covered by the mustache that we're going to put on them, but. I just kind of preparing the face and I want to go ahead and get those in there. Now what I'm going to do is take a uh, ball tool and uh, if you don't have one of these you can also use the back end of a small paintbrush um, but it would be better probably to use something like this if you have it. And I'm going to put in uh, eye sockets. And as I'm placing those eye sockets, I don't really want them right up against the bridge of the nose because I don't want them too close together. They'll look kind of funny if they're if they're really close together. So like about like that would be good. I'm going to take a, uh, a ball of clay and uh, just place it in there for a minute and just see if it's bulging out too much and it was so I'm going to take a little clay off and uh, put the eyeball back in and it looks like that's about right. Um, you can also take uh, the eyeball out again and match another eyeball to it. So just to, for demonstration purposes, you can take the eyeball out and then you can make another one and see if it's the same size like that and then put them in. Uh, just to make sure they're the same size. Kind of push the nose off to the side there accidentally. Lovely thing about clay is you can move it around and uh, change it and add to it and take it away and you know it's it's uh, wonderful stuff. Now I'm going to take the back of a paintbrush and I want to create the pupils of the eyes and looking straight at the, the sculpture, not turn this way, not turn this way, not turn this way, but right at it. I'm going to put in a pupil looking right at me. I'll start off with a little hole like that and then I'll, I'll expand it. But before I do, I'll put in the other hole right here. Then I'll then I'll expand it by uh, bring turning the brush like that. And I'll just uh, I'll study it and make sure the eyes are look like they're looking right at me. And the deeper they are, deeper the pupils are. Uh, the more shadow is created and uh, they'll look darker. 
So if you want piercing eyes, which is what I think you want here, you want that the, the, that pupil to go in a ways. Now we're going to take a ball of clay, roll it into a little oblong shape, kind of pointed on the ends. Flatten it slightly like that. And place it on the eye. So it looks like that. I'll make another one for the other side. And again, if it's easier for you to start off with two balls the same size and then do it that way, you might want to do it that way. Just like we did the eyeballs. If you uh, if you nick or lift the eye eyeball a little bit, you can go back and straighten it with uh, like I just did with the back end of the paintbrush. And you can uh, then take your sculpting tool and blend the top of the eyelid into the forehead. that now you can an older man aged man his uh, his eyelids are going to droop at the sides a little bit so you can take your thumb and just sort of press down a little bit like that to give that kind of droopy look The other thing you can do is you can take this tool is a little bit sharper you can uh, you can add wrinkles at the corner of the eyes you also can take and put in like a line underneath the eyes like that creating a somewhat of a bag a bag around underneath the eye there And then uh, another thing you can do is you can take uh, one of the sculpting tools that you have and, and you can just sort of d sculpt in lines and add texture to the entire face. And what that will do is it will add to the age of the face but also later on when we do the bronze finish we're going to do on it it will really look old and it's going to look really really good the more texture you have um, it will really really look pretty good and you'll see when we do that you might have seen it in some of my other videos but if you haven't you're going to learn about that today and it's really uh, quite a beautiful finish and again texture on your surfaces is what makes it really just rock and really pop so I'm adding texture just by basically rubbing it with my tool
I'm going to just take this tool and press down on the eyelid a little bit more to kind of get it drooping a little bit more adding to the uh, to the age of the face and that's what we got so far and now I'm going to take the uh, the head I'm working on a flat board here it's a good idea to wrap your uh, tape, uh, a piece of paper to the board to keep uh, the, the sculpture from sticking to it. And then I'm going to, without doing anything to distort the face, I'm kind of pressing the, the head down into the board to kind of get it to stick there. And I do want it to be... Uh, level the face to be level I don't want it to be canted from one side to the other we're gonna uh, we're gonna do the leaves now around the face and it is kind of a, uh, the design is has a lot of symmetry uh, symmetrical so um, and usually what I do if I'm when I'm doing this is I um, I'll roll like a deal of clay like that and I'm gonna start making leaves and I'll start by laying them on and then building up over top of them uh, and layering them so uh, so what I do is I roll a noodle and then I take my my fingers and I squeeze creating a ridge here see the ridge okay and that's the beginning of the leaf now I'm not going to put the markings on the leaves yet because we're going to be moving them around and doing different things with them and I don't want to mess it all up so then once I've got it uh, on there I'm going to put it up against the face a little bit like this keeping it right in the center of where the chin would be and press it into place. And then what I can do is take my thumbs and blend it into the bottom of the chin. Now I'm going to start rolling when I roll one leaf and make one leaf I make another one the same size and this is definitely important that you make two balls to be the same size before you make your leaves. That way the leaves are going to be about the same size. Now we want it to be symmetrical but we want it to be lively too so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to roll now from those two balls. I'm going to roll two leaves, squeeze it with my fingers, pinching it to create that ridge like that. And I'm going to just place it there for a minute and make another one the same size. like that and place it there it's a little bit long so I'm going to pinch some off and then place it against the face like that and press it into the into the face And you can use a tool to do it. It's kind of a slow process, so just take your time. Don't feel like you have to rush it. We'll get there. 
and you can see they're about the same size and if if the one is longer than the other you just stretch it a little bit so I'll roll another ball like that I have the board at an angle so I can film it for you make two balls the same size and that one this one's a little bit small. I'm going to take a little bit off of this one. It's about right. I'm just going to uh, smooth this out a little bit. So that's about right. So then I'll roll two leaves now. Put the ridge on them. Make sure they're about the same size like that put the ridge on it and here I'm just kind of playing with it a little bit to see how it's gonna look not really making any real commitment as to how it's going to lay there it's not uh, it's not a final design at this point I'm going to make two more starting off with uh, two balls the same size two sides same size I'm going to make these a little bit shorter I'm going to see how this looks here if I bring this up like that here you can play with it you can the basic idea is the face surrounded by leaves so if you want to do different kinds of things with it uh, to get to look the way you like you can also uh, go online and look at uh, green man faces if you don't have a book or something with them on it, in it, um, but looking at green man faces is really a good idea to kind of get ideas about what you want to do. So that one's a little bit, a little bit small. About almost right, almost there, almost there. Okay, and then I'll roll two leaves, put the ridges on them. See, I'm kind of curling them, curling them up a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is add a leaf, a single leaf here. At the center.
and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna work on the mustache here now so I roll two balls the same size like that I'm going to put them in here for the mustache. Kind of just playing with it a little bit to see how they're going to look. Okay, I'm uh, making the eyebrows next. Start off with two balls the same size. And I'll go ahead and roll them. Make my ridge. Just kind of positioning them, getting them the way I want them to be. I'll pick it up so I can see it dead on like uh, you can see it, I imagine. Now I'm going to turn it so that I can see the top of the head because I can't really see it from that angle. I'm going to start with one here. I kind of want to look like the hair or leaves going back for the hair are um, kind of going back, kind of like combed back. Lay it on there where I want it. So maybe like that. about right. Maybe this one's a little big. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to kind of curve that down a little bit. Turn it back this way, and I want to um, take my sculpting tool and blend those into the top of the head. Just 
trying to see how I like it. If I like it the way it is. Back. <clears throat> Two balls the same size. It's even easier for me to do it that way. Um, that way you, you've got everything's the same size or close to it. It doesn't have to be exact, but it's helpful if it's close. And uh, another thing that you can do um, is pick up your, your sculpture and you can uh, go around back here and just uh, blend in the leaves to the back of the head to kind of secure them there. Okay, so once you've got your your leaves where you want them on the sculpture, you can start putting your markings in. And so on the top of each ridge, you can take your sculpting tool and uh, put like a line along that ridge. And uh, I just go around, the way I do it is I go around, I put the lines in on the ridge first, on each ridge. Like that. You can take your knife and you can actually carve a line by drawing it along the edge of the leaf or the ridge of the leaf like that you can do it that way also it's just that if you do it that way sometimes it flares the clay a little bit and can be kind of messy so I often take my my knife and I just See how I'm pressing it like that along the edge? I think it might, that way, the way I'm doing it there, it might take a little bit longer, but seems to be neater, uh, at least for me. But a lot of this has to do with what's easy for you. And there's always more than one way to do something. So if it works better for you to to just draw the line, then you know by all means, you know, go ahead and do that.
Now, once you've got your lines on the uh, on all the ridges, you can go and take uh, let's see, take a uh, your tool and put in little uh, branches coming off of those ridge lines, and you can do them fairly randomly, and you really only need like a couple. So there's that's one. I, I think I put six on that one. So here's another one and I just put a few in there. But I should warn you that if you're new to this, it's a little easy to get impatient and say, oh, well, I don't need to do that. Or I'll just do one or two lines. So just keep, keep in mind that you want to Go ahead and take your time. If you need to take breaks, go ahead and do that. But take your time and definitely make sure you get enough of those lines in there to make it look like leaves. So just keep that in mind. And the leaves, so the, that, those little branches coming off of this main line are going upwards towards the point. So, the, so here's the point of the leaf, and and the uh, branches, or you know, little branches are coming upwards. So just keep that in mind also. And you know, again, it can be it can be fairly random. Um, Okay, so once you've got all your um, branch lines in, um, it might be a good idea at this time to put a hole in the back for uh, hanging your uh, green man. And the way to do that really is you uh, you can take like the back end of a paintbrush, uh, pick the center mark um, on the um, green man. You can measure that if you want. And, you know, pick the center mark. Uh, you can measure it with uh, a measuring tape or a ruler. So, if it's uh, let's see, three and a half inches wide, it would be uh, 1.75 inches would be uh, the halfway mark right there, right where I picked it. And then you just take your your uh, brush and put a hole in like that if you put it in so that the hole is going in an upward angle and when you hang it on the wall uh, you put your nail going down into the wall and then if if for some reason somebody slams the door or something it won't come flying off the wall um, and you can hang it on a finishing nail a, as opposed to a nail with a head. A finishing nail doesn't really have a head on it. So um, it's a lot easier to make a hole with a small item like this than it is to make a hole with a big item like that. So just keep that in mind. That's why I recommend uh, making it with like the back end of a small paintbrush and using a finishing nail to hang the uh, the sculpture and uh, next we're going to put a finish on it uh, I'm using uh, pearl X pigments and uh, this is antique bronze 
what I do is I put it into a lid and I work off of the lid I'm going to set that down off the side here and uh, what I do is I dip my finger into it get it on my finger like that and then I swirl it with my thumb and that gets it a little bit subdued more subdued so it doesn't go on really bright and then I just really lightly go over the sculpture highlighting the high points and I'm trying I'm looking for I'm trying for a a true bronze look um, so I'm just highlighting the sculpture I want it to be subdued I want it to look old um, and uh, it's actually a very realistic looking bronze finish uh, so that's kind of how I do it and I also will finish the back because it's just a lot nicer to um, you know have that continuity of the finish all the way around and whatever I can't get with my uh, with my finger I'll uh, put I'll get the brush a little bit wet a paintbrush a little bit wet water right here and uh, dab off the excess water off the brush and then I'll get a little bit of bronze on it dab that off and then I'll just touch up wherever I couldn't get with my finger that I wanted to get like out the eyes for example and you know anything that I just wasn't able to reach but again I'm really going for light uh, you know not trying to cover all the black not trying to make it bright and shiny for this antique bronze finish that I'm trying to achieve And again, the, you know, definitely want to try to get the back of it as well. Doing the same thing. Every time I dip my finger, I swirl it. Otherwise, it'll go on too bright. And then you'll want to bake it. And in the video description, down below the video, you'll find a tool and supply list that has all the tools and supplies we're using today. The baking instructions for Sculpey 3 polymer clay. And um, so you, that will all be down uh, below the video in the video description. Follow the instructions and for baking the clay and bake your sculpture and then we'll come back. And that is how you make a green man. Um, so uh, it's pretty uh, pretty fun project and very interesting piece of sculpture to uh, to learn how to make. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I do many videos along these lines. Please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I do try to answer all the comments and questions. And thank you so much for watching. Be creative, have fun, and have a great day.